Welcome back. Continuing in the local news, flags in SVG are were flown sorry, as half-mask over the weekend. The Cabinet of Ministers of Government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines decided that the national flag of SVG was to be flown at half-mask on Saturday, December 3rd and Sunday, December 4th to mark the passing of Comrade Fidel Castro Ruz. The former president of the Republic of Cuba passed away last Friday, November 25th. His ashes were interned in the city of Santiago, Cuba on Sunday, December 4th. And may his soul rest in peace. We move on to other news. According to Dr. Simone Kiza Beach, Chief Medical Officer of the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Milton Cato Memorial Hospital, says that progress is being made in reducing the spread of HIV and AIDS. Dr. Kiza Beach expressed optimism with the progress being made in this area as she just a rally hosted by the Ministry of Health as part of activities to mark World AIDS Day. She noted that countries worldwide have committed to end the HIV-AIDS epidemic by the year 2030 as part of the Sustainable Development Goals. St. Vincent and the Grenadines scored 1.2% of its population being HIV-infected, in the highest in the Caribbean region. Dr. Beach stated that the number of new HIV infections is not declining among adults, young women particularly at risk at becoming HIV positive. The march and rally was organized by the AIDS Secretariat in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment. Prime Minister Dr. Gonzalez said that while we are pained and anguished at the crime and violence in our land, all hands must be on deck to deal with the problems that plague our country. Undoubtedly, we are pained and anguished at the blight of violence, crime perpetrated largely through the use and misuse of guns and bullets by a small group of young men. This affects not only the victims and their families, but all of us in this small geographic space called St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Clearly the solution to criminal violence is not a matter only for the government and the police force. All hands must be on deck, including centrally all the institutions of the state, the family, the schools, the churches, the media, the political parties, the non-governmental groups, and the communities themselves. Honorable Dr. Ralph Gonzalez said that although it can be challenged, citizen security is sound. Still, even amidst the dangers of criminal violence, our country remains safe. And citizen security, though challenged, is sound. Overwhelmingly, our people of all ages, sex and social condition are law-abiding, peaceful and good-natured. And the violent criminals are given no supportive space in our communities save and accept from a few criminally connected persons. Most of the gun-related crimes are being perpetrated by young men who are feuding over drugs and territory, among other things. But by and large, this country is relatively a safe place to live. This comes from Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez as he shared a view on Monday at Cabinet Room during a press briefing and reiterated that the police are doing their very best. Head of Crime and Assistant Commissioner of Police, ACP of Police, Frankie Joseph, is reporting that St. Vincent and the Grenadines' pro-post borders coupled with our limited Coast Guard resources is the main reason why there has been an influx in illegal firearms in this country. ACP Joseph said that, quote, Now, as you would recognize, we have limited Coast Guard resources, and while Coast Guard is doing a tremendous job in trying to patrol the shoals, it is highly impossible for them to do that. So you would find in our open shoals illegal firearms, end quote. 
Flint Vincent and the Grenadines has achieved significant socio-economic and technological advancement over the past 37 years. Addressing a large gathering of incensions at the 37th Independence Day Military Parade at Victoria Park on Thursday, October 27, 2016, Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonsalves said that such progress is being achieved despite the relatively small geographical size of this land. We are sincerely grateful to, to everyone of all walks of life, at home and abroad, Vincentians and non-Vincentians alike, for the contributions, great and small, which have been made and are being made to our people's upliftment. Our gratitude is immense. It is heartfelt. And we must proclaim it aloud collectively and in the quiet certitude of our individual beings. We must always be willing to say thanks to Almighty God and thanks to all of our people who have contributed so much to the building of our country. Thanks very much. It is right and proper that as we acknowledge our nation's socio-economic and technological advances, we must recognize too and lament our individual and collective shortcomings and fall from grace and be accordingly contrite and recommit ourselves to do what is better and right. The Prime Minister noted, however, that much more remains to be done to improve the quality of our lives and living conditions. As always, change for the better has to come and start with each of us. We do good, but we can do better. And as the saying goes, every saint has a past, every sinner has a future. The Prime Minister said the progress enhanced prosperity, peace and socio-political stability in this country has been made possible through the collaboration efforts of every Vincential locally and in the diaspora and friendly nations and organizations. Still, even amidst the dangers of criminal violence, our country remains safe and citizen security though challenged, is sound. Overwhelmingly, our people of all ages, sex and social condition are law-abiding, peaceful and good-natured. And the violent criminals are given no supportive space in our communities, save and except from a few criminally connected persons. My as the number of recorded homicides for 2016 hit 34, police have revealed that 28 of these mothers have more in common than the use of firearms. In an interview with Searchlight on Wednesday, Head of Crime and Assistant Commissioner ACP of Police Frankie Joseph said that including the Gruppel murder which occurred two weeks ago and two other homicides by stabbing, all the other homicides committed this year are connected in some way. Joseph said that, quote, they are related in the sense that they are spill-off of 2014 recorded murders. But these are where cocaine, as we know, came into the Brighton Beach, and as a result of that, different groups started to kill each other, end quote. St. Vincent and the Grenadines is one of the 195 countries to have ratified the Paris Agreement. And according to Prime Minister of SVG, Dr. Gonsalves, the fact of the agreement has been raffled means that this country is in a position to receive a portion of the U.S. $100 billion that is expected to be made available in 2020 to fight climate change. A Caribbean cybersecurity workshop is set to take place here later this month. 
the Ministry of Economic Planning, Sustainable Development, Industry, Information and Labour and the Ministry of Education, National Reconciliation and Ecclesiastical Affairs will partner with the International Telecommunications Union, the ITU, to host the forum. The workshop will take place on December 15th and 16th at the Methodist Church Hall in Kingston from 8.30 p.m. daily. Its primary purpose is to provide educators, parents and guardians with interactive sessions on the theme, the role of education in cybersecurity, developing digital citizenship. This is the second in the series of regional workshops which have been organized in collaboration with regional and global partners to develop, to deliver, sorry, important information to stakeholders. The Caribbean Cybersecurity Workshop will be designed and delivered by Dr. K, a Caribbean-based Caribbean international expert who has a track record of delivering similar awareness building sessions. The sessions will be attended by secondary school ICT teachers, school counselors, parents, guardians, student representatives and civic society. The material developed for the workshop will be guided by international best practices in the area of cybersecurity awareness, including cyberbullying. We'll take another commercial break and when we come back, Latifa Noel has sports, regional and international news. I am Jeroni Richardson. Do stay with us. <laughs> 